What's up everybody, it's me, Blake316, and I just finished watching the Grand Theft Auto 5 gameplay trailer. And I know I made a video previously saying that GTA 5 is overhyped, but now after watching this gameplay trailer, and I don't know if I'm adding to the hype, maybe I'm falling victim to the hype finally, but I personally have never seen a game look this good. As GTA 5 visually the game looks amazing the world looks bigger than ever being that you can do so much you can parachute you can scuba dive you can go cycling they look like they they knew they added new uh, flying physics when you fly planes and helicopters I personally think the graphics are amazing I thought Tomb Raider's graphics were pretty good but this game looks like it surpasses it on a million levels. I've never seen a game look that good before. <laughs> it's really hard to believe. As far as the gameplay, I mean, a lot of it looks the same. They did say that they did upgraded, you know, gameplay physics to make it more fluid. Who really fucking knows? Um, one interesting aspect that they showed was that when they showed the initial trailer, they showed that the game had three main characters and there's three different stories. And it, at one point, it looked like, do you play all these three characters individually and was it like three parts of the game? But then they reveal that you play as these three characters at the same time. It's definitely a new um, and interesting aspect to the game. They've never done this before. It's always been one character. I still think the characters are a bit cliche, you know, the... The unhappy rich guy, the, the crazy Middle Eastern guy, and the quote-unquote thug. But, uh, <laughs> it's not really anything new. But, what's interesting is that how you, they all tie in together and you can control all three people in one mission. I don't know how well that's going to work. Because, you know, whether or not you're going to want to switch around to other people... Are there going to be AI problems where if you don't switch around to the right person, will somebody die and your mission just fails? Like It can lead to a lot of game bugs. So that's kind of interesting. But it looks like you can do tons of stuff in the city like you can always do. My main question is, you know when you play GTA and uh, you'd be able to get prostitutes and fuck them in the cars? I just want to know, can you get all three of these main characters and run a train on somebody in the game? <laughs> That's all I want to know. Because, hey, it is GTA. and You can do some crazy stuff. So can you run a train on some prostitutes in this game? What really can you do with all three of these characters? <laughs> but they also said at the end they would show uh, leave the online to later on. I mean, I remember when GTA 4 came out, they definitely... Uh, Gave me high expectations of GTA 4 Online and I was highly disappointed. Who knows what they're going to do. Are they going to make it like MMO style? Like huge open world. Obviously it's not going to be a team deathmatch or maybe it will be. But my impressions of this GTA 5 gameplay trailer. The game looks amazing. It looks visually better than anything out. Um, it looks like some next gen, next gen console stuff. And I'm definitely interested in getting a game now. I hope I didn't fall into the hype because I don't want to buy a game and be disappointed with it like I was with GTA 4. <laughs> but it's me, Blake316, is giving my impressions on this trailer. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, as well as Twitter at Blake316. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. Until next time, peace.